Hey there, friends and fam, you too. Cold case calls here. Here's the tree. We are at the Suzanne Morphew remains site. And here's the tree that everyone's been requesting to see up close. It's a cottonwood tree, and look, there's a eagle's nest up there. But I wanted to come live here. We're at the Suzanne Morphew remains site here in Moffitt, Colorado. And poor Suzanne was found just right over on the other side of this RV. We're going to go over there. I'm going to show you. But look, this is a natural spring bubbling up. And this is the creepy camper and fenced in area owned by a guy named Crazy Carl. And this is a disclaimer. This is in no way trying to, uh, you know, change the story. I 100% think that BM is responsible for Suzanne Morphew. Um, I think he knew about the crazy call and the boneyard situation over here. So this is all the boneyard. And this is Crazy Carl's fenced in area. And the story behind Crazy Carl is all the women that, the last few women that he's dated have disappeared. And this is the field where Suzanne Morphew was found right over here. I was, we're going to go over there and look at that. But I wanted to show you this crazy fenced in area and revisit this place. So there's the tree that everyone wanted to see. Several comments. Come on, Zuma. And this is crazy Carl's fenced in area. And this is his creepy Breaking Bad style RV. And um, so apparently... Colorado Bureau of Investigation was searching for a lady named Edna, a 55-year-old woman, and she was dating Crazy Carl that lives here, or owns this spot. And Crazy Carl's missing right now, I believe. But he's supposedly into disappearing women that he dates. So guys, I just wanna, I wanted to come back here and revisit this place in the winter and show you what it's like. But here's the dead end road, and we found that 22, like right there, up that dead end road, about 500 yards. The bloody sheet was found right here, just right in this little dip that goes, that turn right there. But I just wanted to show you this place in the winter. There's highway, the highway out there, Highway 17. And um, here's the infamous dead end sign. We're just going to go over here and I want to show y'all, say a prayer for Suzanne while I'm here. Wish her a Merry Christmas. I'm sure she's in a better place now, doing a lot better. But I just want to show everyone and let them know and let Suzanne know we're not giving up. We're going to back her. To, we're going to see this out to the end until justice is served and people are put behind bars for her murder. But this right here, yeah, just wanted to come and show you. I know you've probably seen all my other videos, but right here is where Suzanne Morphew ended up, her remains. And uh, what a horrible place to end up out here. I mean, it's brush country and crazy Carl's front yard. But what I think has happened is, you know, this has been a known thing about this guy out here. Uh, you know, all the locals know about it and about the people who he was dating disappearing. And that's who CBI was actually looking for when they found Suzanne Morphew was Edna, the 55-year-old woman that this crazy Carl who lives here was dating. Um, but it was well known in the news and all around here in the Boneyard. This is all the Boneyard, you know. I mean, this whole area of the valley, a lot of people say that Oh, it's not that exact spot. I mean, this collective whole area is the boneyard, y'all. I'm, I'm trying to slow my camera movements down. But it is freezing out here, guys. There's the infamous dead end sign. But. So. If anyone has any more inf information on this crazy Carl guy. Drop it in the comments, but um, supposedly he's disappeared and wanted in the connection for the missing, he's missing women. So, 
But I had, um, I believe, a, a psychic wanted to see the tree. So there's the tree. There's the creepy camper. There's the dead end road. The gun was found there. The bloody sheet was found there. But I just wanted to show you all this place in the winter and say a little prayer for Suzanne. Her remains and her soul is in a better place. But we're going to see this out to the end for you, sweetheart. So, but if everyone can, just say a prayer for Suzanne and um, pray that we can get some answers soon from Colorado Bureau of Investigation. Y'all, my, my camera is freezing up. <laughs> it's yeah, almost negative degrees out here. I'm trying to go real slow with these movements. Well, I just want to thank everybody for watching and uh, the snow rolled in on us quick over there, but we were hoping to get some searches in over at uh, where the bike was located and uh, made a couple videos on that. But I couldn't come to this area, you know, the, where the bike was located and where these remains were found is 44 miles away exactly. So just right up the, right up the highway. But it's beautiful out here with the snow. It's awful quiet and lonely and cold. But there's the infamous tree. So I had a clairvoyant wanted to see the tree up close. So there it is. I hope that answered the questions for you. There's Crazy Carl's weirdly fenced in jail like structure and creepy Breaking Bad RV and storage units. Makes you wonder what's in those storage units back there, huh? But just take you for a little bit more of a walk before my fingers freeze off here. What is it, girl? Good girl. The last time I was here was Kaga's last search before she died. So she was the one that actually found the section of bed sheet. And uh, that was like her last two raw in her life. So I just wanted to come back and revisit this place. A lot of weird energy out here in the San Luis Valley. Everything from cattle mutilations, a lot of UFO sightings. Right there where Nipsey's at is where that sheet was, right there. She's, it's almost like she still smells. <laughs> so the bloody section of the sheet was found right here. And the 22 revolvers past that fence a few hundred yards down right there. Uh, well, we're supposed to get another two to four inches of snow in here tonight, so... But since I was so close, I just wanted to come out here and say a prayer. Wish everybody happy holidays. Maybe the good creator will give us something good for the holidays. and Hopefully we can have a breakthrough in this case. And have some people answer for Suzanne. Have justice be served. Hope everyone's having a blessed middle of the week. If you can, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe down there. I'm sure would appreciate it. That's what gets us through the winter. And um, if anyone knows of any searches that's not deep in the snow, I was thinking about going down and doing a search in Arizona for Chelsea Grimm. Um, very limited amount of search was done at Chelsea Grimm for Chelsea Grimm. Um, her family is just torn apart and she's disappeared and no one, everyone's kind of given up and it's down there in Arizona where it's cooled off now and there's no snow. So I think that might be where we go next. But there's Highway 17 out there. You can barely see the mountains through the clouds. It just blows my mind that poor Suzanne was buried right there, right off this highway. I want to say thanks to everyone again. Have a blessed week. Hit that like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or concerns or criticisms, I'd love to hear them. My email is in the description if you want to get a hold of me about anything. 
and uh, have, a, have a happy holidays if I don't see you again, and a Merry Christmas or whatever your um, religion is or your holidays are. I hope you have a happy one, and I hope you're around people that you can enjoy and stand. So, have a wonderful evening. Rest in peace, Suzanne.